Dr. Mark Water Faulkner, Chair of the Faculty Senate, and I welcome you to the 148th commencement of Meharry Medical College.
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Come on, let us rejoice. And be glad in it. Welcome friends, families, guests, and graduates to the 2023 commencement ceremonies of Meharry Medical College. There's an old song says, we come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. He has never failed me yet. Graduates, you have never been failed yet. This is your time and we are here to celebrate you. Give our graduates a round of applause. Now let us pray. Great God, we thank you for this day, a day that we have never seen before and never see again. But God, you have ordained this moment in time so that we might look upon these graduates and they may look upon themselves and realize that weeping endureth for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. O oh God, let them experience the joy of this moment. We thank you for the families that have traveled near and far. We thank you for our administration, our faculty and staff. We thank you, O oh God, for our nurturing mother, our alma mater, Meharry Medical College. So now, God, as we go through this service, we ask that you activate our senses so that we don't miss the moment to see your hand and your miracle at work. Bless these students and everyone and fill them with your spirit of love. We pray that as we go forth and as these students go forth that they light a fire on this world, that they might remember that you are in all things and all people that you have called them to worship you through the service of mankind. So God, be with us and guide us through this service and through the rest of their journey. We will be careful to give you all praise, all glory, and honor. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You may be seated. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the realm parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rang glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave 
and ask the audience to rise for the singing of the Black National Anthem, please. Can we get the choir another hand, please? Good morning, everyone. I'm James Hildreth, 12th president of Mary Medical College. I want to welcome you to the 148th celebration of our commencement. Thank you. 
Today, we are honored and privileged to have some special guests with us this morning. I want to recognize the former First Lady of Meharry, Ms. Clara Elam, who's with us this morning. We have two of our powerful state leaders, Senator Charlene Oliver and Representative Harold Love. We also have with us the president of University of South Carolina Upstate, Dr. Benny Harris and his wife. We also have Mr. Sid Curry and Mrs. Sandra Curry of BC Holdings, a great supporter of our college. We also have some very special guests, some of our alums who are celebrating a very special anniversaries. One group celebrating their 50th anniversary, the class of 1978. We also have some alums with us who are celebrating their 25th anniversary, the class of 1998. We commend them on their leadership and their professional achievements, wherever they may be. They represent the Meharry mission and its legacy extremely well. Their collective work exemplifies our motto, which is worship of God through service to mankind. I want to ask all of the alums who are in the audience to please stand. <laughs> Thank you. I'd also like to acknowledge the distinguished leaders who are on the stage with me today. First is Dr. Nelson L. Adams III, Chair of the Board of Trustees of Meharry Medical College. You met Reverend Reverend Hall, who is the college chaplain and special advisor to the president. We have Dr. Digna Forbes, the interim dean of the School of Medicine. We have Dr. James Tyus, who is the special assistant to the dean of the School of Dentistry. We have Dr. Mary Lindsay, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. Dr. Fortune Mislanga, Dean of the School of Applied Computational Sciences. Dr. Jeanette Southpaw, who is our Executive Vice President and Provost. Dr. Ivanetta Davis Samuel, Senior Vice President and General Counsel of the College. We have my friend and colleague, our commencement speaker, Dr. David Carlisle, President and Chief Executive Officer of Charles Aldrew University. We have Dr. Marquetta Faulkner, who is the Chair of the Faculty Senate. Dr. Ethel Harris is President of the Meharry National Alumni Association. Dr. Dexter Samuels, who is Senior Vice President for Student Affairs and Executive Vice President of Executive Director of the Health Policy Center. Dr. Peter Merlet, Executive Vice President. And our distinguished Grand Marshal and Bearer of the Mace, Dr. William Davis. <laughs> Other leaders who have joined us this morning is Senior Vice President for Research and Innovation, Dr. Neil Shanker. We also have the Senior Vice President and Executive Director of our new Institute for Global Public Health, Daniel Dawes. And our Senior Vice President for Clinical Affairs, Dr. Michelle Nichols. I'm also honored to have several members of our Board of Trustees with us this morning. Dr. Robert Williams. Dr. Don Griffin. Dr. Collis Johnson. Dr. Edith Smith Rayford, Dr. Lewis Hargett, Dr. Thomas Scott, Dr. Kenneth Williams, Dr. Martin Jeffries, Dr. Kevin Woods, and Dr. Cornus Enix. We also have our Senior Vice President for Board Relations and Assistant Corporate Secretary, Dr. Salida Holloway. Chairman Adams, Board of Trustees, faculty, graduates, parents, family, friends, and distinguished guests, thank you for being part of this very special celebration. 
the 148th commencement of Meharry Medical College. We salute and celebrate each and every one of our graduates as they take their place in residencies, new occupations, and postgraduate training. Class of 2023, congratulations on this magnificent achievement. You have persevered beyond your undergraduate years and run the demanding gauntlet of professional school to arrive here, be decked today in your multicolored regalia and subjected to the pomp and circumstance of this occasion, unlike, I'm sure, anything you participated before. And it's all very fitting that it should be thus, as hard as you worked to get to this point. You are indeed an amazing class. This all signifies that you are indeed special. You've always known you're special. You've probably already been told you're special. This confirms how special you are. But yes, you are special, and you are the next generation entering to the fray as physicians, world health and public health professionals, researchers, data science professionals. Many of you are leaving Meharry today to pursue residencies and postdoctoral fellowships, as well as healthcare careers across a broad spectrum. So let's review, shall we? After four years of undergraduate studies, four years of medical or dental school, or however many years you've been in your studies as a PhD student or master's student, you've been nose to the grind, and here you are. The fact, though, is that your study is never over. You should commit yourself to being a lifelong learner. The scripture teaches us that sorrow increases with knowledge. You find that the more that you learn, the more you realize how much you just don't know. And so you habitually dig a little further to find those ever-elusive nuggets of facts and knowledge. As professionals in the field you are serving and saving others, you must always find ways to see new things and learn new things, find new cupboards in your mind to stuff new knowledge. You must, as the Apostle Paul said, study to show yourself approved, because your colleagues will take the measure of you every day, as will your patients and your research colleagues. Your patients will look to you to head off the terrible and to find answers and to end their pain, because you are the authority relative to health care in their lives. And above all, you must always be thankful. And when you think about it, you are the sum of the efforts of all your professors, your friends, your mentors, your loved ones, and all that they poured into you from the beginning. From the person who taught you how to tie your shoelaces to the professor who taught you how to untie DNA strands, they've all served a very important role. Graduates, you have benefited from the efforts of professors who have both imparted their knowledge and modeled the professionalism that they expect from you after you leave this place. And at this point, it's very fitting that I should ask the faculty to stand and be recognized. Faculty of Meharry, would you stand and be recognized? Thank you. Graduates, especially those of you in the entering class of 2019, you have had an educational experience that may be unique in the history of Meharry Medical College. That's because shortly after you matriculated, the world was turned upside down by a global public health crisis, the COVID-19 pandemic. You had to make the challenging pivot from in-person learning to virtual. For the medical and dental students, your clinical experiences were disrupted or entirely shut down for a while for a significant period of time. This took an emotional toll on you but also created stress and uncertainty. Having come through this experience that you've come through, you have some very interesting stories to tell. But class of 2023, you are now the epitome of resilience. And I hope you will now feel that, yes, they are. And I hope that you, can, you now feel that you can deal with whatever challenges you may encounter in your professional journal, journey. You witnessed how de devastating the pandemic was for, for the communities that we care about, and I hope this confirms your commitment to Meharry's motto and our mission to serve the underserved. 
Graduates, no doubt you've heard the saying, to whom much is given, much is required. I hope you will begin repaying the intangible part of your student debt by paying your experience forward. Because a year from now, five years from now, or 25 years from now, others like you will cross this stage. It will be your turn, your obligation, beginning when you leave this ceremony, to reach back and help those who follow you. That may come in the form of an occasional check to the college. <laughs> Let me say that part again. It may come in the form of an occasional check to the college. But, <laughs> but it certainly comes in the form of reaching back to mentor students who follow you. Maharians, when you leave us today, please understand that you have the right and the responsibility to use your knowledge and your skills to better the condition of humankind, to make this world, your world, a better place for all of us. Graduates, go get at it. You've got this. And we are so very proud of all of you. Thank you so much. And now, it's my honor to welcome our chairman of our board of trustees, Dr. Nelson Adams, to bring greetings. President Hildreth, our speaker, Dr. Carlisle, members of the board of trustees, distinguished faculty members, members of the class of 2023, their families, and their friends. Good day. To all of you here gathered, I repeat, good day, for this indeed is a day that the Lord has made, and we ought to rejoice and be glad, and let's be happy about this day. Folks, I'm Nelson Adams. I am honored and privileged to serve as chairman of the board of trustees of Meharry Medical College. 45 years ago, in the year 1978, I received my diploma from Meharry Medical College. It's a proud day, a day that I never forget. I practice medicine in Miami, Florida. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. I have delivered lots of babies. In fact, at last count, it had exceeded 10,000 babies. Just, just to, 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 to make it clear, I have delivered the good, the bad, and a few of the other ones. You know, what I will say about that is that whenever I deliver a baby, at each and every delivery, I see the wonder of new life, a new beginning, a clean slate. You know, you can't really work in that environment without being constantly aware of a higher power. Somebody ought to say amen to that. You know, some say that I'm a good physician. And I appreciate them saying those things. I've tried hard, I've worked hard, I've done a few things, seen a few things. But let me make it perfectly clear that he is the great physician, amen? The psalmist says it is God that directs our steps and it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. And indeed, the we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Therefore, today we ought to have an attitude of gratitude. Is anybody happy about it? Now, I know many of you are praying, people. I know Big Mama done prayed for you. Mamas and daddies and aunties and cousins and, and teachers prayed for you. There's a song that simply says, somebody prayed for me had me on their mind. And I'm so glad, are you glad about it? And I'm so glad they prayed for me. You graduates, I know this because been there, done that, got the t-shirt. You've had to pray. Oh yeah, you, you, you've had some midterms and some finals where you really had to do some serious praying. 
And you know, on this day, I don't want us to forget Remember at least this one thing, that on this day, at this hour, you were destined to be here. You were called to your profession, and your very footsteps were directed. It's a part of being a Mahari. It's a part of what makes this place we call Mahari so very special. The strong underpinnings of faith at Mahari, it is indeed the Maharian DNA. Maybe it's reflected in our motto, worship of God through service to mankind. Some of you fine molecular researchers may be able to find it one day and circle it on a DNA chart. There it is. I, I don't know, but I can tell you that it's there. I can tell you that it makes a difference. I can tell you that it's important that you never, ever lose sight of the fact that there's something divine in what put you in this place, in what you put in your hands every day. There's something God created for the people you touch. And if you can see that in your day-to-day -day activities, then it elevates how you interact with the people that you serve beyond the humanistic and it will keep you humble. Dr. Hildreth, I'm so proud today to be here and to be a part of these proceedings. This 148th commencement of Meharry Medical College and to see the future before me. Might I say the future looks bright. Let's give these graduates a round of applause. And so graduates, I believe that each of you chose your career. I believe God chose you for them. You are expected to deliver your best. It's been said earlier, and I simply repeat it, to whom much is given, much is not only expected, but required of you. And so I encourage you to be proud of this day because suffice it to say, you've done a, a good thing. But hear me and hear me well. Good just isn't good enough. You have got to be the best version of yourselves that you can be. In case you didn't know it, those sitting behind me and those parents and grandparents and loved ones and this faculty will remind you on this day that you are the ones that we've been waiting for. You are the ones that we've been waiting for, so be the best that you can possibly be. I encourage you in all that you say and all that you do to remember it this way. Good, better, best. Never ever let it rest, not until your good becomes your better and your better becomes your best. Are you gonna be the best version of yourselves that you can be? Give yourselves a round of applause. And so, my brothers and sisters, these colleagues of mine, soon to be, we pray that God may richly bless all who are in the house today. To God be the glory. I know you're smart. I know you've worked hard. But now is the time for you to be happy and, and embrace. But remember, yesterday is gone forever. Truth be told, tomorrow may never come. What you have is the present. Perhaps they call it the present because it's a gift from God. So lest you think more highly of yourselves than you should, lest you boast and find yourself puffed up, lest you begin to walk around peacock proud, let me remind each and every one of us that God has to get the glory. Will somebody say amen to that? And so to you graduates, congratulations to this outstanding class of 2023. Let's give them another round of applause.
Good morning, Dr. Hildreth, Board Chair Adams, platform guests, faculty, alumni, friends, family of our graduates, and class of 2023. I am Dr. Mark Corda Faulkner, the Chair of the Faculty Senate, and I bring you greetings on behalf of the faculty of Meharry Medical College. Today marks the start of your future as healthcare professionals, and the faculty congratulate you. We as faculty commend you on your past work and achievements that have brought you to this end point today, your graduation. We have admired your determination and commitment to learning as we monitored your success as you completed the requirements for your degrees and certificates. We know that you have made a lot of sacrifices and missed a lot of fun along the way, but be assured it was very worth it. The faculty are very proud of how you have evolved out of the role of students and now into your new role as health professionals. We are even prouder that we have played a significant part in your development. So young physicians, dentists, researchers, and data scientists go out and show the world the fruit of this institution and demonstrate what the essence of the true health caring looks like. Now I would like to share with you that after 34 years of being a faculty member, I have finally retired. I have enjoyed my time at Meharry as a teacher, mentor, clinician, researcher, and administrator. It has been a most rewarding career. I hope and pray that as the yellow brick road that led me to Meharry to teach will lead some of you back to teach as well. So congratulations, class of 2023, we are looking forward to hearing great things about you. Good luck and God bless.
It's now my honor to present our speaker for this occasion, Dr. David M. Carlisle. Since, since 2011, David M. Carlisle, MD, PhD, has been serving as the President and Chief Executive Officer of Charles R. Drew University of Medicine and Science in the Watts-Willowbrook area of Los Angeles County, California. Dr. Carlisle is a published author in health policy, quality of care, medical education, diversity, and elimination of health disparities. A board-certified internal specialist, internal medicine specialist, his clinical work has always revolved around caring for the underserved. President Carlisle graduated from Wesleyan University majoring in chemistry. He then earned his medical degree from Brown University, his Master of Public Health, and his PhD in Health Sciences Research from the UCLA Fielding School of Public Health. He completed a Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Clinical Scholars Program Fellowship at the David, David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA in 1990. Dr. Carlisle has been affiliated with the UCLA Department of Medicine for approximately 31 years becoming a associate, tenured associate professor in 1998. He is currently a professor of medicine and public health at Charles Drew and an adjunct professor of medicine at UCLA. President Carlisle served as director of the Office of Statewide Health Planning and Development for 11 years in California from 2000 to 2011 under Governor Gray Davis, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Governor Jerry Brown. Under his leadership, the office released its first ever health disparities report, increased scholarship and loan repayment opportunities for health providers committed to practicing in underserved, underrepresented areas. He also successfully administered the hospital seismic safety as well as health facility insurance programs. In 2007, Dr. Carlisle became a senior fellow at UCLA's Luskin School of Public Affairs and served as a member of the Advisory Council of the UCLA Fielding School of Public Health from 2017 to 2022. In 2018, he was appointed as a member of the California Future Health Workforce Commission, and in 2018, he was appointed to the Board of Trustees of the California Healthcare Foundation and served as a council member of the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco on the Economic Advisory Council. He is also a founding member of the Bioscienza LA, LA Board. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct privilege and honor to present to you my friend and colleague, the President of Charles Aldrew University, Dr. David Carlisle. Well, thank you, President Hildreth, for that uh, great introduction. And let me just uh, say off script, wasn't that a beautiful and inspirational choral performance that we just heard? Very well done. So I'll start by saying to our distinguished board members of Meharry Medical College, faculty members, esteemed guests, proud families, and most of all, the incredible 294 graduates of the class of 2023. Congratulations. It is indeed an honor to address you all from such a historic location on this momentous occasion. I do bring you congratulations and recognition from everyone at Charles R. Drew University of Medicine and Science. I'd like to personally thank Dr. Pre President Hildreth for the invitation to participate in today's ceremonies. 
I have known Dr. Hildreth for some time and have known of him for even longer. I have always been very impressed by his leadership and vision. I could not help but accept this, his gracious invitation to address this audience of graduates from an institution that I have partnered with from time and time again in pursuit of our common goals. Thank you, President Hildreth. Today is a most glorious day. It's the day that you become part of the illustrious Meharry Medical College alumni family, and that is a milestone to be proud of. Congratulations on this significant achievement in your journey, and I'll say physicians, dentists, computational scientists, and graduate studies graduates, because after today, you will be all of those things. Congratulations to the class of 2023. As a graduate of an HBCU medical college, you hold a unique and valuable position within the medical profession. HBCUs have a rich history of providing higher educational opportunities for those who have historically been denied equal access to education. As a graduate of Meharry, you have received a rigorous and well-rounded education that, among other things, emphasizes the importance of cultural competence, social justice, and community service. You have been trained to approach medicine from a holistic perspective, taking into account not just the physical health of your patients, but who your patients are as people, their social, emotional, and even spiritual well-being. You have been trained to view the career that lies before you through a lens of health disparities and the unique needs of underrepresented communities. You have not just been trained to be leading medical professionals, you have been prepared to be a leader in the field of health equity. That is a mantle to be worn proudly as you advocate for policies and practices that promote access to quality health care for all. As you resume or begin your chosen careers, fired up with the hope and optimism to make a difference in the struggle to achieve health equity, you will encounter obstacles and setbacks. We don't live in a perfect world, and sometimes the road to what's right can be hard, winding, and poorly lit. That's when it's important that you know that being a graduate of an HBCU also means that you are part of a tight-knit community of alumni who share your commitment to social justice and community service. At those times, you are not alone in the dark, but instead are joined by thousands upon thousands of lights who can help illuminate the way to a better and brighter tomorrow. Also remember, when you're on that road, that there are others behind you trying to find their way to the same place as you. Be a light to them. We're all on the same path. We'll all get there together. On a more personal level, the same people who helped you as you move through your time here at Meharry will still be with you, your family, your friends, your classmates, everyone who supported you and believed in you. They still do and always will. All those who came out here today to be with you for this moment in life, I promise you will be there when you need them. As you begin to make a difference in the lives of those that you care for, your patients, know that you're also making a difference in the lives of those who have supported you and believed in you. Let's right now give a round of applause to thank them for their unwavering support. At the moment, healthcare needs graduates just like you, diverse and diverse-minded practitioners, a fresh class of prepared and ready professionals who can move the needle on important issues like workforce diversity. That is a real problem in the current state of healthcare. The demographics of the United States are changing rapidly. It is essential that doctors, dentists, researchers, everyone across the medical field reflect the patient populations they serve. You are the ones who can help bridge the gap. I urge you to use your education and your platform to advocate for diversity in the healthcare workforce. Encourage your colleagues to seek out opportunities to serve in underserved communities and promote policies that support diversity in medical schools and training programs. You can create a more diverse healthcare industry from the inside out. In addition to workforce diversity, there are several of the challenges that the medical system you are entering or returning to still faces, even after the passage of the Affordable Health Care Act in 2010. 
The ACA has undoubtedly improved access to health care for many Americans, but it's not perfect. The COVID-19 pandemic has exposed its cracks, and we must work to address them to provide better health care for all. Access to health care is a fundamental human right that remains out of reach for many, many too many individuals and too many communities in this country. It is unacceptable, at least, to everyone here today that due to systemic inequities, economic barriers, and geographic isolation, millions of Americans continue to face significant challenges in accessing the care they need to live healthy, fulfilling lives. I encourage you, as graduates of Meharry Medical College, to help address this pressing and critical issue. I implore you to answer this call to make access to affordable health care a central focus of your professional work. Whether you choose to clinically practice, conduct research, or work in public health, you will have countless opportunities to make a meaningful impact in this area. How? The same way you got through your program and made it here today, devotion and dedication to a greater good. Part of the medical, Meharry Medical College vision statement includes the pledge to enroll students from across the United States and around the world who aspire to improve the lives of disadvantaged populations. I see before me the realization of this vision reflected in each and every one of your faces, the graduating class of 2023. I see aspiration, I see inspiration, and I see the drive to make a real difference. You have persevered in acquiring from this institution the knowledge, skills, and values necessary to provide exceptional care for all patients, particularly those who are most vulnerable. I am often asked, what does the future of healthcare look like? I don't need to look at trending charts, dig into data, or peer into some sort of crystal ball to see what the future holds. I see it right here, right now, right in front of me, all around me, in all of you. I'm happy to report the future looks bright. Someone in this room might cure cancer. Someone in this room might go on to become the Surgeon General. Some of you will practice in small communities where you're needed the most. Some of you may teach. In all cases, you will make a difference, big or small, that will start a ripple, but collectively, class of 2023, I have no doubt that you will create waves that will leave the world a better place than you found it. I'll share with you a truly moving experience for me, being part of your story at, at, for this moment. Here is a as you graduate and go forth to your personal journeys and missions. As you go out into the world, I urge you to continue to prioritize diversity and inclusion in your equitable, in your professional lives. By doing so, you will help to build a more equitable and just healthcare system that reflects the spirit of Meharry Medical College. And that is a beautiful sight to behold. To quote our board chair, Dr. Adams, be the best version of yourselves that you can be. Congratulations, one and all, and thank you very much. And now we, and now we will do what we all came here for. <laughs> Chairman Adams, on behalf of the faculty of Meharry Medical College, we present to you and to the Board of Trustees the candidates for the degrees in the class of 2023 for conferring of the following degrees, the Master of Science in Biomedical Data Science, the Master of Science in Data Science, the Master of Public Health, the Master of Health Science, the Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical D Sciences, the Doctor of Dental Surgery, <laughs> the Doctor of Medicine, <laughs> and their Certificates in Clinical Scholars Health Policy and Public Health Program at Meharry. Mr. President, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Meharry Medical College, we hereby authorize you, Mr. President, to confer degrees upon the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the Master of Science in Biomedical Data Science, 
the master of science in data science, the master of health science, the master of public health, the doctor of philosophy, the doctor of dental surgery, and the doctor of medicine degrees. I also authorize you, Mr. President, to confer the certificates in health policy and public health that were earned through the Center for Health Policy at Meharry Medical College. Thank you, Dr. Adams. The degrees will be conferred upon the candidates in the following order, as you see printed in your programs. And let me just say a little bit of history is going to be made this morning. We have graduates of our first new school in more than five decades, the School of Applied Computational Sciences. Yes. <laughs> Making history is a good thing. The School of Graduate Studies by Dean Mary Lindsay the School of Dentistry by Dr. James Tyus, and the School of Medicine by Dr. Digna Forbes. Dr. Fortune Mislanka, Dean of the School of Applied Computation Sciences, would you please come forward? Mr. President, Upon the recommendation of the Dean and Faculty of the School of Applied Computational Sciences, I'm proud to present to you the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degrees Master of Science in Biomedical Data Science and Master of Science in Data Science. These are on page 14 of the program. Damis Langa, by the authority vested in me by the trustees of Meharry Medical College, I hereby confer upon you the degrees Master of Science in Biomedical Data Science and Master of Science in Data Science. These, these degrees admit these candidates to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities which pertain to this degree that they have earned. In testimony whereof, they will receive the diploma of which they have been recommended officially signed and affixed with the college's seal. Will the candidate for the Master of Science in Biomedical Data Science please rise and come forward. <clears throat> Jia Hassan Sanders. And now we have the candidates for the Master of Science in Data Science. Brittany Sethi. Sarah Denise Taylor. Thank you. 
uh, graduates of the School of Applied Computational Sciences, please remain standing as I lead you in reciting the data science auth, which is on page 15 of your programs. Let us repeat the auth in unison. I swear to, the, to fulfill to the best of my ability and judgment this covenant. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those data scientists in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as is mine with those who follow. I will apply for the benefit of society all measures which are required, avoiding those twin traps of data fishing and analytic nihilism. I will remember that there is art to data science as well as science, and that consistency, candor, and compassion should outweigh the algorithm's precision or the interventionist's influence. I will not be ashamed to say I know not, nor will I follow to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for solving a problem. I will respect the privacy of my data subjects for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. So I will tread with care in matters of privacy and security. If it is given to me to save life with my analysis, all thanks. But it may also be within my power to do harm and this responsibility must be faced with humbleness and awareness of my own limitations. I will remember that my data are not just numbers without meaning or context, but represent real people and situations and that my work may lead to unintended societal consequences such as inequality, poverty, and disparities due to algorithmic bias. My responsibility must consider potential consequences of my extraction of meaning from data and ensure my analysis help make better decisions. I will do personalization where appropriate but I will always look for a path to fair treatment and non-discrimination. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings, those who need help and those who don't. If I do violate this oath, may I enjoy vitality and virtuosity, respected for my contributions and remembered for my leadership thereafter. May I always act to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and my, may I experience the joy of helping those who seek my help. Thank you. You may be seated. Dr. Mary Lindsay, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, would you please come forward? President Hildreth, upon the recommendation of the Dean and Faculty of the School of Graduate Studies, I am proud to present to you the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degrees, Doctor of Philosophy, program page 17, Master of Public Health, program page 19, and Master of Health Sciences, program pages 20 through 23.
graduates in the School of Graduate Studies by virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Mary Medical College. I hereby confer upon you the degrees Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Public Health, Master of Health Sciences. These degrees admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities which pertain to the degree you have earned. In testimony whereof, you will receive the diploma for which you have been recommended, officially signed, and affixed with the college's seal. Candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree, please rise and come forward. Malcolm Edwards. <laughs> Carla Gibbs. Fidel Soto Gonzalez. <laughs> Jelani Tashe Rump. Nicholas Adra Sapp. <laughs> Portia Lalia Thomas. Next, I will call the name of our candidates for the Master of Public Health. PhD graduates of the School of Graduate Studies, please remain standing as I lead you in reciting the Biomedical Researchers Pledge that is appropriate to your new standing in the health profession research community. We urge all PhD level biomedical sciences and, um, scientists in the audience to join us in repeating this pledge found on page 18 of the program. Let us repeat the oath in unison. I accept this opportunity to follow the difficult and rewarding path of biomedical science. I will endeavor to honor all those who have contributed to this opportunity by always working to the utmost of my abilities and by increasing those abilities when possible. I pledge to use my energy, intellect, and education to enhance the lives of all humans, understanding that often the greatest strides are made through efforts to assist the dispossessed and underprivileged in our world. I will carefully consider and remain mindful of the ethical implications of my work. 
I will never use my gifts and skills to intentionally harm any individual group or the planetary environment. In planning and carrying out my work, I will treat this planet and all its life forms with honor and respect. I will honor and respect the efforts of my teachers, taking great care to always give credit where credit is due, and always humbly understanding that all that I see, I see by standing on the shoulders of the many scientists who have gone before me. I also will honor and respect my students and all who rely on that which I have learned, endeavoring to truthfully and openly discuss all my methods, findings, and conclusions. So long as I adhere to this pledge, may I have continued success in the field of biomedical science. Thank you, you may be seated. Candidates for the Master of Public Health degree, please rise and come forward. Brianna S. Davis. Prince C. Ejendu. Blair A. Gerido. Maya Alyssa Johnson. <laughs> Aisha Matthew Carboncall. Irene Lazarus. Brittany Danielle Littleton. <laughs> Aaliyah Mason. <laughs> Malachi Miller. Taylor Nicole Perry. <laughs> Megan Roberts. Lashmana Sammy Soma Sundaram. <laughs> Maya J. Williams. <laughs> Shedrick Wright the second.
Will the Master of Public Health graduates remain standing as I lead you in reciting the Public Health Pledge as seen on page 28 of the pl printed program. All public health professionals in the audience are invited to join us in reciting the pledge in unison. Please recite with me. I pledge to do all within my power to safeguard human and environmental health through prevention, protection, promotion, and educational efforts. I will accept the responsibility to use my talents, training, and professional experience to instill public trust in all my public health endeavors. It is my personal commitment to serve my community with integrity and pride. As a member of the public health community, I recognize the unique responsibilities associated with this role. I commit myself to the high standards of professionalism and ethical conduct required to achieve community health and to ensuring that the basic resources and conditions necessary for health are accessible to all members of the community. Thank you, you may be seated. <laughs> Candidates for the Master of Health Sciences degree, please rise and come forward. Deshaun D. Adderwall. Dylan Allison. Ryan Alicia Armont. Myrner K. Basali. Kelsey Alexandria Bean. Jayla M. Berry. <laughs> Dia Sade Bowden. Dania Lachey Bro, Morgan Ramil Britton, Sukanu S. Bryant. <laughs> Taylor Alexis Burnett. Anisha M. Bird. <laughs> Zakaya Andre Bird. Malaya Aviona Carlo. <laughs> Ch 
Chelsea Brianna Carter. Kaylin Lorraine Chandler. Jasmine Christina Clark. Alexandria M. Coleman. Deneen Demetria Komu. Tiffany Cooper. <laughs> Kevin Laron Crumpton, Jr. Troy Artisan Cunningham. Deshaun Lamar Dale. Deville Devani Darkins. <laughs> April Nicole Davis. Crystal Davis. <laughs> Sadell Adama Davis. <laughs> Julie Emmanuel. Shanika Nadeja Gabriella Francis. <laughs> Tamara Roche Frierson. Daquan Gilmore. <laughs> Lauren Ian Gordon. <laughs> Ashlyn L. Gray. Mackenzie Chanel Gray. Ashanti A. Green. Green. 
Sydney Dominique Green. Sheridan Page Gidry. Sydney Nicolette Hall. Tyrone Hill. Breland Donye Hunt. J.L. Tempe Tope Oseyaman Iyawe. Alexis Ayana Jackson. <laughs> Carmelia Renaya Jackson. Marcus Trent Aaron Jackson. <laughs> Najayu Duche Jackson. Etanu or Lisa Johnson. Kenneth Maurice Gerard Johnson. <laughs> Derenique Monique Monet Jones. <laughs> Keontae D. Jones. Megan Lawrence Jones. <laughs> Yane Latif Jones. Jada Giselle Jordan. Julian Ber Bernard Lurasslier. <laughs> Terrence Terrell Lewis. <laughs> Tyler T. Lewis. Daniel Michael Million. Pauline Waithira Muturi. Jasmine Aliyah Nichols.
Ernesto Ogiti Norakoro. Sanika Yugo Chenyaram on Ye Wen Yi. Chandler Opera. Zandria Ariel Parker. Myrna Concepta Pierre. Savannah Iriona Rumley. Gladys Samar. Drusilla Marie Self. Jalen R. Sims. Jasmine Alexis Citrunk. Mary Karen Smith. Lakeisha N. Smith. Mallory Renee Smith. Zoe A. Smith. Kawhi Z. Stanley. <laughs> Stephen Bradford Sullivan. Akash Sunder. Courtney Amy Tate. Lark Naima Taylor. Jordan Nicole Tucker. <laughs> Omo Jeffe Ubayan. James Ulysses. Lauren Michelle Waller.
Reticia Ariana White. Marquita D. Wilkerson. And Frank Lambert Wright. Master of Health Science graduates, please remain standing as I lead us in reciting in unison the Master of Health Sciences Pledge as seen on page 28 of your printed program. Any other individuals in the audience who have Masters of Health Science degrees are encouraged to join with us in reciting the pledge in unison. As I embark on my career, now an alumnus of the Master of Health Sciences, I pledge that I will represent my scientific profession honorably by conducting myself and my professional endeavors in a manner that is always above reproach. I will incorporate the ethical and moral principles that constitute integrity in all that I do and faithfully ensure that the results of my professional activities ultimately benefit our world. With this affirmation, I will acknowledge and honor the contributions of those who have preceded me while seeking truth and the advancement of knowledge in all my actions. I will strive to show compassion, embrace diversity, and above all, uphold excellence that I should become a worthy role model deserving of respect by all. Thank you, you may be seated. Dr. Tyus, would you come to the podium, please? Candidates for the Doctor of Dental Surgery degree, please rise and come forward to receive your diploma. <laughs> Mr. President, Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of the School of Dentistry, I am pleased to present to you the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the Doctor of Dental Surgery degree. You'll find it in your program on page 29 to 31. Salome Abera. <laughs> Got a little bit ahead of ourselves, but that's okay. <laughs> Graduates of the School of Dentistry, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Marriott Medical College, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Dental Surgery, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities which, throughout the world, pertain to this degree. In testimony whereof, you will receive the diploma of which you have been recommended, officially signed and affixed with the college's seal. Salome Abera. Kristen Nicole Blair. Chenille Marie Antoinette Blair. Nadia R. Blake. Yeah. 
Keisha Lori Brady. Kia M. Brooks. Treasure Jalisha Zane Brown. Esau. E. Bryant. Oscar E. Carter the Fifth. Sharonda Lucretia Carol Cheever. Barrett E. Chesley. Okay. Edward mm. Edward Jacob Clemens the Third. Christopher Christopher J. Coke. Courtney Michelle Coleman. Yamishra Demisi. Micah Jalen Dickerson. Kelsey Brielle Downer. Stephen Scott Drumgoole. Christine Inkichi Egbonen. Idl Abdullah Farrar Asir. Aisha Faith Garcia. Yeah. 
Larimar Gonzalez. Pornima Gopala Krishnan. Ronte Marvell Edward Graham. Rupinder Carr Hare. Deidre Rochelle Hilliard. Adrian Elise Hoffman Booth. Joseph M. Humphreys. Rachel B. Jackson. Paris Lamar Jarman. Miles T. Johnson. Morgan Olivia Calhoun Josie. Kamal Preet Kenda. Christopher Aaron King. Taylor Denise King. Pollock Pravin Kumar. Kothia. Samuel C. Lloyd. Justin Kendall Mack. Adam Jamal Mahmud.
Francisca Clarice Morales. Michaela Latrice Miles. Anoop Nandanoa. Akia Awuso Domi. Krishna Patel. Megan M. Patterson Potit. Brianna N. Peoples. Aparicio D. Peggins. Andrew Perkins. Savani Kamwalawan Ram Kalawan, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jerome Walls. Peyton Olivia Richardson. <laughs> Antonio Dimitric Roberts. Elsie A. Rodriguez Fernandez. <laughs> Lori Hillary Rousseau. Aditi Nisarg Shith. Arion Tiffany Alandon Smith.
Khadija Shanice Smith. Herbert Matthew Spann. Aaron Michelle Stone. Gamayel T. Tellus. Nelty P. Ulysses. Ashley Mercedes White. Cordell L. Whitehead. Joshua D. Wiggins. Marshall Allen Williams II. Shanelia L. S. Williams. Corianne Lachey Willis. <laughs> Tiara Devon Wynn. Dental graduates, please remain standing as, we, as I lead you in reciting the dental oath in unison. As a professional courtesy, we ask every dentist in the audience today to please stand and join our graduates in reciting the dental oath found on page 32 of your printed program. Please join me in reciting the oath in unison. I, realizing the privilege and opportunity that have been given to me my studies and the art of dentistry and appreciating the significance of the dental degree which has been conferred upon me do hereby willingly pledge that I will diligently uphold the dignity, honor, and objectives of the dental profession to the best of my ability will contribute to its prestige, proficiency, and progress that I solemnly accept my responsibility to the patient to give him the best of my knowledge and skills to maintain an impeccable relationship with him that I will warrant his trust and confidence, that I will faithfully observe the principles of ethics set forth by the profession 
and that I will lend my influence and support to dental education, to organized dentistry, and to all segments of the profession which contributes to the fulfillment of this purpose. Thank you. You may be seated. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. So, Dean Digna Forbes, would you come to the podium, please? Candidates for the Doctor of Medicine degree, please rise and come forward. <laughs> Mr. President, Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the Faculty of the School of Medicine, I am privileged to present to you the candidates who have qualified in all respects for the degree of Doctor of Medicine, found on your program, pages 33 through 36. Graduates of the School of Medicine, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Meharry Medical College. I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Medicine, admitting you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities which throughout the world pertain to this degree. In testimony whereof, you will receive the diploma for which you have been recommended, officially sealed, signed, and affixed with the college's seal. Adetayo L. Abdul Razak. Joseph Osoboyan Abiade. Autumn Alicia Acklin. Tanisha Nicole Adams. Zaid Ahmed. Benjamin A. Aiken. Oluwatoyan T. Akinasotu. Oluwatobi Oluwatoyan Alawode. Brandon Casey Anima. Ola Di Pupo Oluwe Shung Anabire. Asia Mohammed Anamer. Crystal Leisha Ares. Kezia Abena Korantema Asiadu. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Iman Abdusalam Bare. Kiera Fontella Benson. <laughs> Rocio Denise Bermudez. <laughs> Sami Abdul Bidya. Jennifer Black. Jasmine Lachey Blair. Maya Amira Bragg. <laughs> William Anthony Bro. <laughs> Geetha Mariah Cawthon. Matthew R. Chandler. Tonuka Chatterjee. Rachel Elaine Cheek. Asha C. Cotterell. <laughs> Ryan Andrew Cowan. Christopher Creighton. Montreal Unique Curve. <laughs> Brittany Nadema Azendu DK. Taylor Dykes. <laughs> Micah Gabriel Ernst. Aaliyah L. Fonte. Johnsley Frederick.
Mika V. Gallagher. Yamiyu Gaylada. Daniel Najati Jelani. Chastity Renee Green. Andrew E. Grush. Robert Glenn Hammond II. Oyendayo Modupe Ajoke Hassan. Jessica Leigh Hawkins. Kelsey Deanna Henderson. Terry Allen Henry Jr. Dorian Shawnee Hill. Akila British Hirams. Mariana Grace Ivanich. Joshua Ivare. Nasir Tyree Jackson. Genesis Aja James. Erica Scott Johnson. Oyinloye Austin Jorse. Benson Joseph. Cardeen Sony Joseph. Thank you. 
Mohammed Saad Khan. Idris O. Kosako. Jonathan Kuatang. <laughs> Brianne Josephine Lansaquo. Rathika Madneni. Kristen Charles Malone. Melander Menard. Madison Delane Monroe. Maurice Dane Morgan. Jamal E. Moss. Ajaya Janae Murphy. Morgan L. O'Neill. Christian Yu Anruharanye. <laughs> Cheslin Denise Patton. Garen Taylor Hasty Peggins. <laughs> Chelsea Elizabeth Ann Poindexter. Zaria Alanis Radford. Allison Bernard Randolph the Fifth <laughs> Jennifer G. Riscala. Casey S. Roberson.
Leilani Roberson. Mike Romain. Myla A. Sapp. Molly Patricia Sewell. Mary Scrabbit. Kemar Norman Small. <laughs> Stephanie Smith. <laughs> Jeffrey Shannon Stokes, Jr. Walberto Edgardo Tejada Menivar. Lori A. Temez. Kaylin Gabriel Temple. <laughs> Portia Lalia Thomas. Trevor Kwaku Obeng Thompson. <laughs> Nicholas Paolo Valle. Joseph R. Vanterpool. <laughs> Rebecca Emily Loretta Yearwood. Deborah Mengistu Yimmer. <laughs> Ilya Zechevich. Graduates of the School of Medicine, 
please remain standing as I lead you in reciting the modern version of the Hippocratic Oath. We invite all physicians in the audience, even if you're not a Meharry graduate, to join with our newest colleagues in reciting the oath printed on page 38 of your program. Let us recite the oath in unison. I swear to fulfill to the best of my ability and judgment this covenant. I will respect the hard-won scientific gains of those physicians in whose steps I walk and gladly share such knowledge as it is mine with those are to follow. I will apply for the benefit of the sick all measures that are required, avoiding those twin traps of overtreatment and therapeutic nihilism. I will remember that there is art to medicine as well as science, and that warmth, sympathy, and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say, I know not, nor will I fail to call on my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for a patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patients for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I tread with care in matters of life and death. If it is given me to save a life, all thanks but it may also be within my power to take a life. This awesome responsibility must be faced with great humbleness and awareness of my own frailty. Above all, I must not play at God. I will remember that I do not treat a fever chart or a cancerous growth, but a sick human being whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems. If I am to care adequately for the sick, I will prevent disease whenever I can, for prevention is preferable to cure. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings those of sound of mind and body, as well as the infirm. If I do not violate this oath, may I enjoy life and art, respected while I live and remembered with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling, and may I long experience the joy of healing those who seek my help. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Ethel Harris to the podium, please. Mr. President, distinguished platform guests, honored alumni classes, graduates, members of the Meharry family, ladies and gentlemen. I am privileged to execute the will of the Meharry National Alumni Association by formally inducting the class of 2023 into the membership and solicit their active participation henceforth. The Alumni Association's oath can be found on page 55 of the program booklet. Will all 2023 graduates stand and repeat the alumni oath in unison with me?
I haven't been given the opportunity to enter the health sciences as a provider and or researcher. I do hereby pledge to give my support to Meharry Medical College and the Meharry National Alumni Association. I will encourage gifted, mission-oriented students to consider Meharry as the institution for study in the health sciences. I will network with my fellow Meharians. I will give generously of my finances to the extent that I am able to do so. I will always conduct myself in a manner to make my alma mater, Meharry Medical College, proud. Thank you. We welcome, we welcome our new alumni to membership in the Meharry National Alumni Association. Please be seated. This time, I'd like to invite Dr. Dexter Samuels to the podium. Chairman Adams, Board of Trustee members, Mr. President, graduates, platform guests, alumni, faculty, staff, students, family, guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. There's a very special person here today from the Center of Policy who's in our midst. One of the first employees of the center is here today. The spirit of Meharry lives in her and through her. And I would like Senator Charlene Oliver to please rise and be acknowledged. The recipients of the Rob Wood Johnson Foundation Health Policy Certificate and public health certificate have completed a rigorous course of study in health policy and public health, in addition to completing requirements for their respective degrees in medicine, dentistry, biomedical sciences, and public health, and are now prepared to join experts around the world in shaping health policy and public health in our country and our world. Will the 2023 recipients of the certificate in health policy and public health please rise? Please join me in saluting these health policy and public health scholars. You may be seated. Now it's my honor to present to you the 2023 recipients of the Leonard Toe Hemorrhagism Award in Medicine. This year's honorees are, and I invite them to stand, Graduate June Kamar Small from Spanish Town, Jamaica. And from the faculty, Duntel L. Johnson, MD, Assistant Professor in the Department of Pediatrics. Now I invite you to, to stand and join us in singing Meharry Medical College alma mater, led by Ms. Miller, found on page 61. Serving mankind. 
you. You may be seated. To all of the family, friends, and everyone who came to this event today, thank you for being here and witnessing this great occasion. It is always a privilege for me to meet those close to our students, and it is always gratifying to look out into the auditorium at commencement and see so many, best wish so many who have the best wishes for our graduates. To all the parents in the house, special honors due to you. Yes. Your son or your daughter is about to go into the world full of people who need them and their finely honed skills. We also recognize that what drives these graduates in the heart is the heart that you, you are strong enough to cultivate within them. For that, we must give you a round of applause, parents. Class of 2023, always remember that you are one of many, mighty in number, who carry the banner of health caring all over the world. With all that you've learned, all that you've experienced, and all that you've been a part of to this point, I want you all to be motivated, not by personal success or financial gain, but by caring for others who, in one of their worst days, came to you or will come to you for care. To those of you who will go to work in labs to give better lives to many because of the research that you will do, let caring also be your motivation to find cures and remedies for those who are afflicted. Graduates, carry that understanding that when you strip away all of the trappings of who we are, what we have and what we do, what we are left with is the commonality of being human that is the soul of health equity that we strive for every day. But now, I'd like to send you forth into the world that's waiting for you, a world that needs you. Lord knows the world needs you. This is a part of my job that I look forward to every year when I get to send these amazing colleagues out into the world. But there's one last thing that we have to do that some of you have already done, but that's all right. For those of you that haven't done it, please move your tassel from the right to the left. I've told you this many times while you've been here. The reason why I'm so proud and privilege to be Meharry's chief cheerleader is because of all of you. By playing a small part in getting you ready for the world, I get to touch the future. And what could be more amazing than that? God bless you and your families and all that you've accomplished today. So please go out and do what you do. And thank you all so much. requesting that the audience remains seated while the president's party, faculty, and students leave the building. You may join your graduate at the front of the building for photographs. And now for the benediction. God, how we love you and we praise you. We thank you for this moment in time that you have allowed us to celebrate these accomplishments of our graduates. So God, we ask that you go in your spirit and in your power. Your word says that you will make a way in the wilderness and you will make rivers in the desert. So we praise you as the way maker that you are. Grant these graduates success in their coming and in their going. Be with everyone as they leave this place, but not from your presence. 
go into the highways and in the byways, into our work and into our homes, in our conversations and our relationships. And we will give you all the praise, glory, and honor. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. If you agree with this prayer, say together, amen.
Thank you.